What's up, YouTube? So here's the sixth prediction check, this time for the Canadian Grand Prix, and I'm sorry for the delay, but school. Um, here's the um, little chart for the um, chamber questionnaire that we always start with, and safety cars, one third of the way through the season, we've had only three. Joder! Percentage of the total points for the top teams. Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull and especially Mercedes are running away with everything. I mean, this chart makes it painfully obvious. And, and if you look at the Constructors Championship, it tells exactly the same story. And if you look at the how the championship would look like under the 50 and down system, I think it is a good case of why we should, you know, put it into practice. And the Constructors' Championship also says the same story. The 25 and down is the one we use um, now, and the championship looks like this. The 50 and down would make the championship look like this. And... Of course, some extra points that maybe not everyone would be happy with, but it is a much better system. Now, naming all of the podium sitters um, is a bit of a disappointment because everyone voted for the top teams, obviously, but there's a problem that it's becoming increasingly obvious it's going to be probably nearly impossible for anyone not not only for anyone in the midfield to get a podium but also not Pierre Gasly so it has been a lot worse than we originally anticipated drop of the day awards so far we have a tie between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen with two and race with the more retirements we've had we have Baku and Monaco being disastrously boring with four retirements in Baku and only one in Monaco, so it's going to be Azerbaijan unless, unless Spa turns out to be horrendously chaotic. Now, which driver will gain the most points from lights to flag? Lance Stroll is leading that by a long shot, and here's the... Um, a bit of a detail of last three races, but this chart says it a whole lot better. Lance Stroll has gained nine positions more on track than the runner-up, which is George Russell. And, I mean, Kevin Magnussen is last with negative 16. Good job, Magnussen. Fuck you. Which engine manufacturer will earn the most average points? Uh, we have Mercedes dominating that in both fronts, both in the 25 and down and the 50 and down. Rookie of the year being either Lando Norris or Alexander Alban, depending on who you ask, and that debate will be held at the end of the season. Now, the 10th question will completely close a few days after this video is uploaded at the 24 hours of Le Mans. And we we do have one very embarrassing point, at least for the audience and for myself, because we were expecting him to win Indy and he didn't even qualify. So good for Sean, good for Dan, and good for her. Good for Chainbar, but not good for Jaunty. And finally, um, Dan is leading out of the first four contestants, and the audience is, uh, well, wisdom of the crowds. And I am tied in points with Dan so far. But we have to see what goes on. Um, as for the chain bar versus prediction board, um, I am counting for myself points for everybody. Budget cap is in the process of being passed. It probably will be announced officially um, at the over the course of this season. Sponsor investigative fraud. We have um, 
Pass sued over um, uh, over a uh, logo of one of his sponsors because the bi a bike company had an identical logo to one of the sponsors of Haas. Rich Energy and a bike company, I don't remember the name right now. Animal on track, we saw in Canada plenty of plenty of groundhogs. Driver loses win for team for, from time penalty that happened in Formula 3 in Spain. And, well, we know what happened in Canada. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that debate. No social media scandals for Hamilton. Well, after the disaster in Canada, we have Hamilton retreating to the to the trenches like a fucking coward. Female female drivers. To, I mean, it's rather great that I didn't say two female drivers. I just said female drivers. And Jamie Chadwick has been signed as Williams' development driver, which is rather great. But also, it's a team that is known for ruining careers. Carton <coughs> Senna, Lance Stroll, Zerotkin, Russell. Mercedes engine on fire from sometimes. We've only had one fire and it had to be my favorite driver, Lance Stroll. In his home race. What? What? No three wins in a row, with Canada having that time penalty, we have that cancelled, although we may we may turn this into a half point if there are no if there are no further three wins in a row because from um, Le Mans on we will count this as a Vettel de facto victory. But so far we have this point. Done, um, 15 out of 64 so far, but yeah, we will see what happens. As for my predictions board, we have a bit of a different story because Lance Roll answering his critics, he did that fastly, no bonus point so far, but I mean, Baku recovering from the back of the, from the, back of the field to points in half race distance twice. And in Canada, with a recover with a brilliant recovery drive from <laughs> from the back of the grid to P9, and as you may expect from a driver that is rather unpopular, he does something great, and the comment section goes almost completely fucking silent. Now, as for the topless pictures, as you may, as you probably may suspect. By now, we have the bonus points for Lance Stroll, but let's make a recount of what we have. We have this photo of um, Charles Leclerc from that Netflix series. We have that photo that Hamilton uploaded to his Instagram. We have this from Nick de Vries. We have this from Daniel Ricciardo and this from Pierre Gasly. We have this photo from... Bondorian Bocolacci and the bonus point goes for Lance Stroll for this picture topless in a Canadian snowy mountain. So, yeah. Crashes in Monaco and Singapore. We've had one in Baku. That would give us a bon the bonus point of the crashes in Singapore. In Singapore. And we have this one in in Monaco with Charles Leclerc doing a pretty big blunder. Now, 10 races with first lap drama. We have first lap drama in Canada for a total of 6 races. That's worth already half a point, although I haven't counted it yet, but it will be counted for Le Mans. And highest driver of the day is, of course, 2 so far from, for both uh, Leclerc and Max Verstappen. But we are still yet to see what is going to happen in the future with this. Now, excluding the points I haven't counted yet that I should already be counting, we have 12 points, the fact of 13 because there are two half points that I haven't counted yet, but yeah. And that gives, us, that gives me a total of 48 points, 49 once I count the two half points that I forgot, and Let's now look at the championship span, 
because it turns out that it's Canada one third <laughs> one third over for the course of the season and all the bulbs are still green. I mean this isn't gonna come up until later in the season but it is rather funny both the Williams have a span on the 50 and down of 202 points and in the 700s range in the 50 and down which is good and the um, Constructors Championship is pretty much the same story all the bulbs are still green and will turn red, yellow, red and black later. You can of course follow me on Instagram this little um, Lance Roll fan page that I have and I, I recently surpassed 400 followers so if you want to follow me you are totally free to do that and I wish you very good luck and a really nice day.